Hey everybody, you know my name. Welcome to uh, Jack and Daxter Precursor Legacy. Uh, this is the Let's Play. In the last episode, we did things like go to Geyser Rock and uh, beat the poop out of that place. As you may notice, it may seem a little different than when I ended last episode because it is nighttime now. This actually run this game, if you didn't know, goes by a day and night schedule and like it changes the setting of things. It doesn't change like gameplay or anything, it just changes how everything looks. Which is pretty impressive for a PS2 game. If I do say so myself. Hello, lady. Hello. Hey baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Will do, lady. You keep on staring into the butt of that A-grab zoom zoomer. Zoomer, zoomer. All right, so I've, I wasn't actually listening to what she was saying at all, just because we're going to go do everything on our own accord. Um, this is Sandover Village, and there's collectibles here as well. And we're going to go find some of those. Right over there. Hello. Oh, oh boy. There's also swimming in this game. Um, oh boy, are we... Okay, we're over shallow waters. Um, you need to stay in shallow water, so let's say if I were to swim out there, I want to swim to that island over there. No, I can't swim out there, because there is a shark. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes! Good observation, Dax... Daxter? Yeah, you're Daxter. Hello, precursor orbs. This is the village. Um, yeah, there's a shark that, like, patrols the deep waters, and that that'll prove a problem in the future. You have the same clothes as me. Hello. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at the most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Yes, sir, Mr. Person that has the same clothes as me. So, is there, like, more precursor orbs than the ones that I collect? Cause like it seems like because they don't reappear like the ones that you collect that's the only ones there it's really collectibles hello power hello uh, <laughs> hello scoutfly because i don't even know anymore man oh this is a nice house what are you what are you doing with it scoutfly you look important i like your pillows don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor ore. His whole entire, like, everything is very exaggerated with, like, the 
exasperated purple, the, the double tie, the extremely long ears and very long mustache and big hat. It's very obvious that he is the mayor of this town, for sure. Also because he has a giant windmill. Although I don't really know what's great about being the mayor of this small town, but hey, it's better than nothing. You look like someone that I would be friends with. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island, are we? How did how did the muse even like get to Misty Island? Like, how did she run away? Jack, Jack, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna look at your eyebrows. Look at his eyebrows. Look at his eyebrows. They're green. I like his hair too. His hair, he like went total Super Saiyan. He's got. This, this is Jack in his Super Saiyan 1 form. Oh my, what a horribly sick little bird. <laughs> you don't look so good yourself, lady. Oh, sorry, I thought you were a spotted orange-bellied rain friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flut flut near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. We will do just that, ma'am. You have a very nice bird collection. Okay, so something I didn't point out earlier about the controls. So when you're crouching down like this, you can press X and you can jump extremely high. Also, with the touch of the square button, you can punch up. That'll prove useful in the future. It also kind of works when you press um, square and then quickly press X. You do the same upward punch motion. It's very, very neato burrito. Oh, look at this. This has a blue lightning bolt on it. I bet it's probably activated with something like Blue Eco. Oh, look. Blue Eco. What a surprise. Oh, it activated. We got a lot of powers. Uh, we got precursor orbs. We got a lot of precursor orbs from that. I believe you're the last villager I can talk to. Hello, old man with a giant bundle of hay. Wait a minute. Oh, up, 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 up. Four. All right, we got. F wow, we only have four. I thought we have more by now. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? I'd be happy to, old man. So this this task proved very difficult as a kid. Also because I felt very, very mean, because we are punching cows. I am kicking this cow. I am I am punching it. I am repeatedly punching it in the arse to do my bidding and get back inside its small prison with its other cows. Like, this is this is horrible. But I have to do it because I got a power cell. But this is the most horrible thing ever. Like, what? Ow. And I was also very bad at directing cows in the past. And I was not able to do this whatsoever. As you can see, I'm still not really skilled at it because it has been some time since I've played this game. Oh man. But I watched speedruns of this game all the time see he's like he's just grazing he's eating some grass now he's getting 
punched in the arse and told to go back inside, inside his prison. This is horrible. Why am I doing this? What is wrong with me? God, what is wrong with this farmer? Let them be free, man. Where are they gonna go? Like, where, where would they go? I guess they could walk away to the, to the over there near the forbidden jungle, but like, they can't really get up the cliff to, oh my God. Cow, cow, there we go. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Like, and they could easily just walk out any time that they wish. I'm gonna set one free. I'm going to set the cows free. I can't move them. I have no choice. <sighs> you, you glued them to the ground. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. I will accept your power cell, but I will not be happy yeah, for the circumstances that I that happened to thing. acquire said power cell. There's some precursor orbs up here. I'm collecting them, but I am not supposed to be here yet. I should not be here at all. I'm at the fire canyon. I can't be here. Oh, I need I need the I need the precursor orbs though. I want them. Okay, I'm going by. <gasps> what is that over there? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Whoop. I'll try not to do too much of this because I do do it a lot, but you know, like, you get I get around faster. It's easier than just walking around like that. Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. So this makes five, correct? I know where the sixth is, but where is the seventh? This may prove to be a problem. I'm already having troubles with finding things. This is. This is oh, no, no, no. oh, man. Alright, so there's the sixth. Hello. But where is the seventh? What What this are you? Who awakens the oracle? Wait. One of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Oh my god, why are you asking for so many power cells? Uh, oh my god, precursor orbs. I get precursor orbs and power cells mixed up a lot. I'm sorry, old man. Ugh. What else do we have to do? We gotta bring all the power cells to the people and free the scout seven scout flies. Uh, wait, no, nope, uh, I don't know how to navigate anything. We got another 11 things left. Uh, maybe the, I think it might be over here. We're gonna head to this area. Check it out. Yep, we can, we can make a switch, but we don't need to do the switch right now. So it says Forbidden Jungle. But I believe it is still considered Sand Sandover Village. Yep, we're still in Sandover Village, even though we are in the Forbidden Jungle technically. Um, I'm going to find the last dude. The la Oh no. Um, I'm gonna find the last little scout fly. And then we'll end the episode. Um, I'll probably do an area per episode. Maybe an area every two episodes. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I... Where could I have missed that last scout fly? I will find him. I'm going to find him this episode. I don't care if this is an hour-long episode. I'll just cut to when I find it, so it won't be an hour-long episode. But... Oh, hello. Hello, I know. And that's when my audio went out. Again. I don't know what's going on with this thing. But yeah. It keeps on going out. Anyway, that's the end of the episode right. anyway. Um You found all the scout flies in this area. Yep, we found all the everything in the area. Thank you all very much for watching this. My name is Danering. Subscribe, like, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And now I still have eight seconds left, and I don't know what to say. I just had noodles for lunch, and it was delicious.